Emil the Smiling Man was one of the biggest surprises we got this year for Nintendo Switch. Bringing back a series purely as a passion project from Yoshio Sakamoto was not on my bingo card this year. Nintendo has always been known for their creative approach to game promotion, but with Emio, they've taken things to a whole new level. Let's unpack how Nintendo created a compelling campaign that had everyone buzzing. Nintendo has mastered the art of generating excitement for their games. Using surprise reveals and Nintendo Direct announcements that capture the attention of countless fans. However, Emu would necessitate a fresh strategy for Nintendo. One that leverages online speculation to create even more buzz. Nintendo would kickstart this by randomly posting an ominous video simply titled, Emu. Like a moth to a flame, people would spend days asking, Who is Emio? People online were buzzing with excitement that a new game announcement was on the horizon. But what could it be? A new Eternal Darkness? A fresh horror IP from Nintendo? The speculation had everyone eager to unravel the mystery. Given the game's eerie theme, it made perfect sense to shroud the reveal in intrigue. This approach not only captured attention, but also aligned seamlessly with the game's essence, proving to be a highly effective marketing strategy. The timing of the reveal was another masterstroke. Nintendo strategically released the teaser at a time when gaming news was quieter than usual, ensuring that Emio captured maximum attention. By choosing this moment, they effectively made the game the center of conversation within the gaming community, even amidst other big announcements. This kind of timing amplifies the impact of the reveal and ensures that it doesn't get lost in the shuffle of competing news. Nintendo's minimalist approach to Emio was a bold and refreshing choice. Instead of unveiling extensive gameplay or intricate story elements, the teaser embraced brevity and mystery. This departure from typical marketing tactics, often characterized by lengthy gameplay footage and detailed character backgrounds, successfully piqued curiosity. By leaving much to the imagination, the teaser drew viewers in, promising a deeper exploration of the game's world. Nintendo's engagement with the gaming community played a crucial role in the marketing of Emio. By utilizing social media and online forums, they encourage fans to speculate and discuss the teaser's content. This interactive approach not only fueled ongoing conversation, but also created a sense of involvement among fans. The buzz generated by community engagement helped sustain interest and anticipation for the game's full reveal. The overall marketing strategy for Emya was perfectly aligned with the game's themes. As a title steeped in mystery and psychological intrigue, the campaign reflected the game's core elements by using a teaser that was enigmatic as the game itself. This alignment between marketing and content ensured a cohesive experience, making the campaign feel authentic and engaging. Nintendo's marketing for Emio is a textbook example of how to generate excitement and engagement through mystery, strategic timing, and minimalist teasing. By creating a campaign that was as intriguing as the game itself, Nintendo has set a new standard for how to build hype and capture the imagination of gamers. Despite the disappointment of some, the marketing succeeded at getting more people to simply know what the game is and has likely gotten more people to look into it. So, what did you think of Nintendo's approach to MEO? Did it get you excited for the game? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in.